Hello, my dear friends. I am Yun Tao, leader of China's political reform team. For Confucian's knowledge and action are one. Taking to the streets is not enough to advance democracy. To really understand it and to advance it, reading and studying are necessary. This is why reading is a very important part of our team training. In these books and democracy broadcast, I will share with you the books that are helping to shape the future leaders of free China. I will be very happy that this sharing can inspire you to advance democracy in your country. Today, for the first episode, I present to you the list of the books of our training and the first eight books to share during the following episodes. The most recent list is dated February 10, 2023. It consists of 196 books divided into 12 categories. The first, foundation. Second, history and literature. Third, philosophy and religion. Fourth, law. Fifth, politics. Sixth, diplomacy and defense. Seventh, economy. Eighth, science, education, and culture. Ninth, agriculture and the rural world. Tenth, society, city, and security. Eleventh, world civilizations. Twelfth, progress. Disciplines and orders are varied. Here are some examples outside of Chinese books. The Republic Experiment. 1848 to 1852, Maurice Agulon, France, Law and the Revolution, the formation of the Western legal tradition, Harold J. Berman, United States, Atatürk. It is a biography of Mustafa Kemal, founder and first president of the Republic of Turkey, defend of secular reason. Andrew Mungo, Great Britain. Secularism, India and a crossroads. Madhav, Goodball, India. The tragedy of the euro. Philip Bagas, German. The accidental president of Brazil. Fernando Henrik Cardoso, Brazil, former president of the Republic. The future Chinese leaders must be specialists. With a general and global knowledge that breaks the academic schools, it is also a condition that will ensure the quality of humanistic democracy in free China. Here is a statistic on the nationality of the authors: fifty-eight authors are Chinese, fifty-one are Americans, thirty-two Frenchers, seventeen British, six Indians, five Germans, four. Asian Greeks, four Singaporeans, three Japanese, Italians, and Israelis, two Koreans, as well as Rum, Brazilian, Antilles, Iranian, Canadian, Belgian, Somali, Irish, with each one other. In the West, prestigious personalities and institutions also offer their elites list of books, but. None has as many books of foreign origin as that of our China's political reform team. This global and open spirit will be an asset for achieving Chinese democratization, democratic governance, and world peace. In fact, our method of reading follows a fundamental principle of Confucianism: knowledge and action are one. The logic of governing. Emphasizes three points. The first, we must think about correct projects. That is to say, how to do it. The second is to think about the well-being of the people and the destiny of the nation. The last, we must be responsible for decisions. It is a sense of responsibility in front of history. In the Chinese tradition, every ruler is an intellectual. He is not only a speaker or a critic, but also a man of action who has political responsibility. The logic of governing is a particularity 
of Confucian studies. Himun Ahong explains this method in his French way. I have always asked myself the question, what would I do in the minister's place? That is to say that an intellectual can not only to criticize the society or the government, he must also propose solutions taking into account the circumstance and the consequence of these solutions. In the following episodes, we will talk about one book per episode. In order that you can easily access the one you are interested in, we will start with books that offer an English version. They are available on the internet, Amazon, for example, or their free digital version. I now present to you the first eight books to share in the foundation category. The first, The Chinese Renaissance, Hu Shi, 1933. The second, The Spirit of the Chinese People, Gu Hongming, 1915. The third, The Committee Observer, Himong Ahong, first English edition, 1983. The fourth, Intellectuals and Society, Thomas Sowell, 2010. The fifth, Traditional Government in Imperial China, A Critical Analysis, Qian Mu, first edition, 1982. The sixth, The Three Principles of the People, Sun Yixian, 1924. The seventh, From Third World to First, 1965 to 2000. Memories of Li Guangyao, 1st edition, 2000. The eighth, Making Indian Orphan, Chatham Bagat, 2015. A famous French gastronom, Jean Antelme Briand Savahan said, The destiny of nations depends on the way they feed themselves. It is the same logic for reading. The destiny of nations depends on the books that their leaders read. If you are curious about the politics of democratic China in the future, subscribe to our channel and follow our Books and Democracy podcast. During the next episode, I will introduce you to a book by Hu Shi, The Chinese Renaissance. See you soon and thanks.